Welcome back. So got a few saws up here and we'll talk about these. More importantly, what is in this box is pretty exciting. So let's do this. Welcome back guys. I hope this microphone works. The last video I did with it, oh, that was frustrating. Did a whole lot of talking, a whole lot of really good stuff that I had to say, and the mic cut out. Oh, I was pissed, but hopefully it works this time. I think it was just a bad connection. Got some saws up here to talk about, but more importantly in this video, we're going to talk about what's in the box. What's in the box? No, I already did that joke, but Jacob Rogers 261 is done. I did the best I could with literally just... You know, I had to get it back to him, and I didn't have time to order any decals or anything, so I found this American flag punisher thing that goes on a like the hood of a car or truck, and it was huge. It was way bigger than I thought it was going to be, so I just cut it up, basically. And I do got a clear coat. The blue looks kind of dull right now, but I'm going to clear coat over all the stickers and everything. And that is the the logo that Colm did just for this saw, Colm.Champ or Arb Fiction on Instagram. He does everybody's logos for like this arborists and saw builders and all that. He's super good at it. He designs them and everything. My logos, he did the the skull, the JCS porting, which this one I told him I just wanted something real plain because, you know, not everybody's a skull guy. I think it's kind of metal. But, you know, some people don't like that, so still wanted something to throw on there. And uh, he also designed the NOS steel logo, which is pretty sweet. And the... Oh yeah, the, the cartoon guy that you see at the beginning of all my videos. Super talented dude. And uh, yeah, check him out if you need a logo done. He'll draw it up. He'll he'll get it for you. And uh, yeah, this is about the, the best I could do with the limited time I got. Looks okay, but I, you know, if I had more time, I'd, I'd do something better with it. But oh yeah, um, use my custom ratcheting scrunch here. And I got a camera in my hand, so I'm gonna have to use the hip. I was just going to show that I put a these grommets on there, so it kind of covers that that sore spot where that bolt is. But that's my my bracket, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. The handle part of it, the looks part, not so much. But again, limited time. I'll tighten that up later. Uh, the O84, super happy with how this head turned out from Rich. Did a good job, dude. He he sent it to me and he, and I kind of told him where I had everything, where everything landed as far as numbers, and he sent this back to me and I told him I wanted my squish right around twenty eight thou because yeah, I wanted a little wider because this is running actually a wet shot in nitrous so nitrous and fuel. Guess where I landed? Right on the nuts, right on the right right on the money. I mean, and I couldn't believe it. Twenty eight thou, legit, right on. So. This thing will be going soon. I will run it with just a dry shot at first. And then we'll try the wet shot, guys. It's going to be nuts. So this guy, uh, my father-in-law gave me a, a couple of these things. That's why I had it sitting around. You know, they were junk. He didn't work. And he's just like, here, take them. I think there's another saw in it, too. Probably three saws, actually. And I put all the best parts of all of them and put them together and ported it. And it's kind of a weird saw to do because it's actually like a double clamshell. It's really weird, but did the best I could with it. Sounds super healthy. I just found a bar and chain for it, so I don't have time to run it yet, but maybe I'll do a video on how that ended up if you guys want to see it. But it sounds pretty damn strong. I'm actually surprised. This little, uh, what is it again? 535. But it is the classic, you know. Those, a lot of these saws, if it's, a, if it's like a 036, not that great. O O36 Pro, psh, best saw ever. Or the Johnser Turbo, psh, can't beat it. Magnum, don't even get me going on this. Anything that's got a Magnum sticker on it, that's untouchable in the saw world. So it's kind of funny. A lot of these saw companies put these stickers on them. But let's talk about what's in the box. And I'll be bragging a lot. Just saying. I'm just warning you. A lot of bragging coming up. Well, what's in the box? All right, I'll stop. If you know Dave at CCC, uh, CCC Racing, 
website will be in the description, but there it is right there. www.chainsawcc.com. Get it? C C C. Yeah, yeah, pretty pretty clever. But uh, you probably already know what this is if if you know the company. But Wiseco, Wiseco makes the best pistons. I've said this long before this video, and you guys know. <laughs> If you've been following me for a while, you know that I would never get, give a review, a positive review, if I if I didn't think the product that I was reviewing was top notch. We're not even going to get into the whole uh, the nitrous episode, like where I literally got threatened to get taken to court. Um, but I will not say something is good if it's not. But without even using these, I can tell you right off the bat. They're going to be perfect. I have not looked at them yet, but one of these is for a 500i. I, they might, one's for a 460, I believe. So that, this one's for the 500, and this one's for the 460. So we're going to throw one in a NOS saw. How's that for a, a torture test? But the 500i piston, you've heard me say this so many times. So this would be your intake side. No, oh, this would be your intake side. So this skirt right here, always different length. They're different length. I'm, I should. I wish I'd have a bunch of them out here, but I always measure this distance right here, and I've had a difference of like forty thousands. So that's close to four degrees on my degree wheel. But the skirts are not rounded off, or they're rounded off. They're not square. They're all over the freaking place. It drives me nuts. Uh, I don't know how every other piston that steel makes is squared off at the bottom, but then the 500i piston, their most high-tech saw, it, it's terrible. Like, I've never seen another piston from steel that are uneven, that they look like they, when they cast these, they look like they just, at the end of the mold, they're just like, yeah, whatever, just throw some crap in it, and wherever it lands, it lands. Your, your skirt on your intake side is responsible for port timing and on the exhaust side if you're off too far you're going to be free porting so why the hell oh i don't even like it it drives me nuts though so this one is the 500i piston take these out and wiseco always they give you this cool little bag uh, i've been using these pistons since i was 15. i put one in a yz125 when i was 15 years old and i was sold like they they are amazing but they're forged forged pistons and check that out you'll notice right off the bat it is a pop-up and it's single ring I am a huge fan of single ring but just look at the you know they are they're such beautiful pistons they really are I don't use that word nonchalant they are beautiful pistons Check that out. We'll look at the uh, 460 because this one will have windows in it. And they, they send caber rings. Well, they used to. I shouldn't say that. Yep, caber rings. And they're just top-notch. Absolutely top-notch. You... I'll check these windows out. So if you, if you know what the windows look like in most steel pistons, they're just terrible. Another pop-up. God, these are awesome. So I'll do a, a full detailed video where I'll put one in a saw, I'll put one in a, a 500, we'll port time it, we'll time it against the stock piston, do the squish, everything. I'm just, this video is just to show, just to show off that I have it. Cause I don't think anybody has that yet. Uh, I might be the, the first guy, but just single ring too. So I run a lot of my sporty saws, like the NOS saws and everything. If I build a really rowdy saw like that 84, that's single ring. I run single ring in them. And I like that they design them for that. But Dave, dude, I really appreciate this. Very, very cool of you to send me these. I will give my honest review. I really will. I love Wiseco Pistons. I know that they work good. I've been using them for 25 years. God, that's crazy. I'm old. 25 years I've been using these. I've said this long before he sent these to me. I love Wiseco Pistons. Love them. And Dave is a good dude. Again, before I had YouTube or Instagram before I was somebody, before I was famous, 
you guys know I'm joking around when I say this stuff too, right? I'm just being an idiot. But I, I was saying this about Wiseco Pistons before he ever sent me anything. So just know that. But I will give my honest review. We'll do the port timing and everything. And we'll talk about what you would need to do because you do need to do some work to the saw. This isn't just a slap-in piston, plug-and-play. There is some, some things that you need to do, but we'll get into that. I'll do a full-length video really in detail on, the, on this piston. So there it is, guys. Thank you to Dave. Thanks to Jacob. Thank all of you, each and every goddamn one of you guys. Love y'all. All right, stay rowdy. See you next time.